Hello everyone, this is Serenis here, back with another awesome Halo 5 video for you guys today. I'm very excited today guys to be back with some uh, Halo 5 sweaty arena gameplay. Um, so I'm starting to get back into Halo 5 arena guys, I came back to it um, you know, in the past week, I said that I'd be doing more content for my channel after my uh, last gameplay which was uh, sweaty Warzone 6's uh, gameplay and I've got more of those coming out. Uh, but here's some Halo 5 Arena gameplay today, guys, a bit against a pretty good team. Um, so I was going up against Pentasol and a team of four in this gameplay. So Pentasol is a pretty decent German player. He used to be called DMM Soul, um, also Captain Soul at one point. He's a pretty good uh, German Halo player. And he was playing with this team of four with Cine, Hexus and Warriors tied to. And I could tell they were a team of four because I checked on Halo Tracker the stats of this game and like who who else they've been playing and uh, they beat everyone else that they played until they played us. And I was playing with my boy uh, Snipey today in this gameplay, um, so it's really nice to get back into Halo Five Arena with my uh, best mate Ryan. Um, been friends with Ryan, you know, been friends with Ryan for quite a while now. Um, knew, knew him first to Fireside from uh, MCC, and it's been a pleasure since. So Snipey and Serenity is back on top, but um, it was very really nice to get this win with uh, Ryan because I was only searching with Ryan, and uh, we got some decent, decent-ish randoms on our team. We had Joe High Finn, uh, so I think they're from Finland, uh, Lieutenant Murfaro or something like that, and uh, they were on our team and it didn't seem too bad. Um, it was, you know, they were good enough randoms to beat uh, Pentasol and his team of four here. And the only uh, team that they lost to was us, so it was quite nice to beat uh, their unbeaten run uh, to stop them from keeping winning games. So I really hope you guys enjoy this gameplay. It's a uh, Slayer on Plaza against Pentasol and a team of four, and I just hope you guys enjoy. So I'll get to the commentary now, guys, and commentate on my uh, my thoughts and uh, my good plays in this match, and uh, just discuss of all, um, you know, how I've really enjoyed coming back into Halo 5 Arena. So just do bear in mind guys, this gameplay only happened a few days ago, so um, if I seem rusty in this gameplay at the start, it's because I'm just getting back into Halo 5 Arena. I haven't played Halo 5, Halo 5 Arena properly since probably the end of 2016, so uh, for me to kind of step back into it is quite a big step, but I really want to do it more on my main because I want to get you know some really nice gameplays for the channel again. Um, I really enjoyed doing Champion Free For All back in August um, when I played on my main and uh, just getting some really top wins against top players. I want to bring that all back to the channel and um, you know playing on my main arena is also you know it's great as well because I can use my Allegiance skins, I can use all my new stuff like my Achilles um, armor that I got towards the end of uh, 2016 and just use all that good stuff in arena which is kind of like why I'm trying to get back into Halo 5 arena again so I can you know just uh, play the game on my main account, but um, no, there's no, no one else I'd love to, you know, better than to play with um, in Halo 5 Arena, to go back with Ryan playing again is uh, really nice, because, you know, he's one of my best mates, and it was really nice to uh, be a good team of four with him after just coming back to playing, so I'm going to comment on the gameplay now, guys, so obviously Slayer on Plaza, um, it's really important that you make sure you get Overshield um, in Plaza, because in any particular game on Plaza, um, you know, Slayer or Free For All because it's the main power up that sort of, uh, you know, makes plays on this uh, map when you play in Slayer or Free For All. And uh, it's pretty essential to grab it, to be honest. It can make a massive difference to a game on Plaza. Um, so, unfortunately for our team, we didn't grab it on the first um, occasion. We did shoot the guy severely as he went for it, but unfortunately he was able to just tank it out. So, that was a bit unfortunate for us, but. The main thing you can do, like I would say for my champion free for all gameplays, is uh, as you can see they did get the second overshield, so that's not good. But as as I was saying, you know the main thing you have to be uh, make sure that you're doing with um, overshields is if you don't actually end up acquiring it, you have to try and uh, see the time it was picked up and estimate roughly the time it was grabbed, so that in two minutes, two seconds time. Uh, you can predict when that comes up and be ready for be ready for it on the next occasion. So, so I knew roughly, uh, you know, when that was picked up now, and I've got a rough time in my head of when I'm going to go for the next overshield. So, the next time I want to go for the overshield is going to be roughly like seven minutes thirty-one, and uh, I'm going to have to get ready to try and get the overshield. Try and you know sway the game in my in our favour for our team's favour that I can get round to. 
um, that area of the map at the you know particular time that I need to be there. So that's one thing that you know really good Slayer and free for all players will think of. Um, they'll think of a strategy or a position in a way they can sort of you know get close to the uh, time timing of the OS and make sure they're in the right place at the right time. And skillful players will do that. So if you can do that on Plaza, you're definitely going to be onto a good thing. So at the beginning of this game, not too many flashy plays from me. Um, I, mostly uh, my main goal of this uh, team Slayer against Penasol is a very good player and, uh, you know, like I said, really good German player. Um, and his teammates seem pretty good as well, Sinny, Hexus and Warriors tied too. But my main sort of objective with playing this really good team was just kind of making sure I was getting, uh, you know, people weak for my teammates. Uh, I was trying not to overextend too much because obviously my shot isn't at its best at the moment. I'm still just, you know, adjusting Taylor 5 Arena again. So, um, you know, I did have to take all of that on board. Whenever I uh, saw battles going on, I would try and help my teammates, like helping... Uh, Lieutenant Murph here, I would try and just, you know, help him out um, in any which way I can. Um, you know, just try to sort of see where the activity was happening. Unfortunately here, Joe High Finn goes down, so I look towards and uh, grab the sniper rifle from his uh, dead body there and just going to look to put some, uh, sh you know, shots down with this. Now what I was talking about earlier, guys, was obviously the timing of the overshield, so I know it's coming up pretty soon, and like I've said before in some of my other gameplays, Setting up in a really unorthodox position is a great way of getting the overshield. And as you see, I pushed the uh, snipe four there. Got a really nice uh, the snipe four, sorry, <laughs> the highest point of snipe um, on the barrel. Uh, got a really nice uh, shot onto the guy who was lifting up onto the cushion above the plaza area. Um, after getting that really nice snipe, I was able to grab the OS. And unfortunately, don't make the best use of it. I do get comboed, but. Um, you know, it's not the end of the world, it, you know, it prevented the other team from getting in, it's a step in the right direction, and now I have the exact timing of the overshield, so, you know, some really great plays there, I'll be honest with you as well, that snipe uh, kill that I got there was a pretty big kill for me, because it kind of made me feel good about my shot again, the fact that I hit a pretty nice snipe, and sometimes in games, like, you know, a small kill like that can really have a massive effect on someone's game, like, you know, hitting that one snipe can give you a massive momentum boost in your favour just from like feeling confident. Um, really nice four shot there behind the guy to uh, get that. And at this point again, just uh, going back to grab the sniper rifle because I just I did think to myself at this point, you know what? You know, snipey's a boss with a snipe, but so so is Serenity's. You know, I, I can have my moment, but um, Ryan had some great snipes at the beginning of this game as well, but. I just felt to myself, you know, once I'd hit that really nice snipe on the guy coming out of the plaza area and the cushion, that, um, you know, I, I can do it again. So um, I decided to go for the snipe again, guys, and uh, yeah, try and hold it down as best I can with my teammates' help and um, rotate accordingly with my teammates to where we want to set up on the map. As you can see, there's a few people here in the cafe section, so I'm able to land a shot, so best thing to do is just obviously uh, you know regap my shields and wait for a better opportunity to push them and uh, try not to be overly aggressive here because obviously I don't want to lose my sniper rifle and uh, map positioning at this point to put some really nice shots down on the guy near the barrel there and uh, have a really nice serenity's nade to follow and he's not going to get away from that one and this is probably my favorite play of the video coming up right here so I see Pen of Soul coming up the ramp put some free nades a little bit sloppy but able to finish him off eventually and here we go a little bit of 1v1 action here and check this snipe out that's a that's a shot and a half on Hexus there that's uh pretty good um i was pretty happy with that one in game i remember saying ryan oh my serenities is back but um <laughs> a great shot from me there um, you know it was a really nice one to hit in game and uh definitely a, a massive momentum shift for me um, back in taylor 5 arena and uh really nice killing spree to end that off um that was disgusting a uh, bit of sniping there at close range and uh to be honest with you when you're making plays like that it was pretty much inevitable for our team not to uh, for, our, for our team not to get the overshield so um one of our teammates did grab that as well because all of the players were dead at that time and uh you know, some great plays there we just witnessed the six kill streak uh from Srenny's, which you know is pretty good to be honest because i had a pretty rough uh start to begin this game most of my deaths actually 
Um, you know, I have the least deaths in this uh, game out of all the players, but most of my deaths actually came from the beginning. So I'm very much a player, guys. You know, once I find my groove and once I find my rhythm in a game, that's when you see me make the clutch plays and that's when you see me really go off on people. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay today. It was a really nice one from Ryan and myself. It was great to be playing, uh, back playing with my boy uh, Ryan. It's one of my best friends and it's really nice to get videos, gameplays with him again. So I miss doing that with him. Um, but as I said, guys, looking to get back more into Halo 5 Arena. Um, so definitely a lot of great content to come out. This was Serenities, guys, and I'll see you next time. Hope you enjoyed. Bye, guys.